So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine's. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Endlich weg aus dem Schnee. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. <laughs> right Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Ja, wer hat mal heute so einfach zu reparieren immer? so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. 
This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Na, alles lange Geschichten. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just... Oh. You know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. What are you doing? Get back on the road. Maybe. It just... Isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What? Working on there anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Einfach mal so so ein umgefahren. So muss das sein. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Wie slow down? Hier gibt's kein slow down. Vollgas. Ja, so oft wie ich das Pferd taue, ey, da muss der Rücken schon durch sein. Da sind sie, oder? Ja. 
Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Oh, Come that comes yet. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oh, ich kann mich mal im Zelt umziehen, rasieren und schlafen. into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Ah, ein Buch lesen ist doch auch ganz schön. Oh, Art. 
after my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Rasierzeug neben meinem Zelt. Nee, als wenn ich hier irgendwas spende für das Lager. Das könnt ihr vergessen. So, essen, trinken, bla bla bla. Nee, ich möchte nochmal zu meinem Zelt, bitte. Welches war mein Zelt? Das hier. Da ist Rasierzeug. Gesamter Bad. Da. Sehr schön. Kann ich mir die Haare nicht auch rasieren? Das wäre doch mal geil. Oh, Entschuldigung, Leute. Fotografien, Zeitungsausschnitte, Schlafen, Setzen. Ne, will ich alles nicht. Ah, Ego-Perspektive und nicht Ego-Perspektive. Karte. So, U ist Ankel. Ankel möchte mit dir sprechen. Meine Gesellschaft. Da ist mein Pferd. Die Munitionsverräte des Lagers werden in Artus Unterkunft aufbewahrt. Jedes Lagermitglied darf sich Gegenstände aus diesem Wagen nehmen, wenn die Vorräte zu Neige gehen, kann jetzt die Moral des Lagers verschlechtern. Vorräte, Nahrung, medizinische Vorräte, Essen aus den besten Stücken des letzten Jagdausflug und so weiter. Okay, also was die Story eigentlich wirklich vorantreibt, ist der Ankel. So, das ist angebunden. Das ist natürlich schlecht. Ja, aber ich denke mal zu JE und RS komme ich auch anders, oder? Anscheinend nicht. Wow, wie weit weg ist denn dieses JE? Also hätte ich erstmal das Pferd da schießen müssen, oder was? Ein Zeuge? Nee, Zeugen will ich nicht. Zeugen mag keiner.
Was denn austauschen? Den Hut. <lacht> Aber so einen dummen Schlapphut. Den lassen wir... Den lassen wir jetzt mal. Neugierige sind markiert. Ne, jetzt, jetzt sind es doch Zeugen. Gibt's doch nicht. Ja, yeah, es gibt ein Kopfgeld auf mich. Scheiße. Scheiße, ich hab's übertrieben. Ich hab's übertrieben. Verdammte Hacke. Vielleicht sollte ich doch nicht jeden Passanten über den Haufen schießen. Wäre vielleicht besser für mich. Trotzdem weiß ich noch immer nicht, was JE ist. Geh mir aus dem Weg, Mann. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. <laughs> yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There hey, he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer! <laughs> Wie eine Prügelei zwischen zwei Leuten auf einmal dazu ausartet, dass sich alle prügeln, ne? Come here, you little greaser. 
You're going down. Yeah, he yeah, might have to kill you, you son of a bitch. Das sieht nicht gut aus. Also. Hey, come on, stop that! Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough! What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. <laughs> Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Wie einfach man früher sauber geworden ist. Während Javier sich bei den Gästen in Saloon gemacht hat, hält Bill eine Prügelei an. Rette Javier innerhalb von 15 Sekunden, besiege Tommy innerhalb von 1 Minute 30. Hat wohl beides nicht hingehauen. 
Das war's mal wieder mit dem Video. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, dann vergesst nicht, dass man mich abonnieren und liken kann. Außerdem könnt ihr mir folgen auf Facebook, Twitter und Instagram. Und das ist alles kostenlos.